how's it going guys? Um, thought I'd do a quick vlog since um, I came up to Perth today into the city to get my haircut and I thought I'd do a quick vlog through the city. Oh man, such a beautiful day and I put a freaking jumper on underneath my um, running suit. So like, I am extra hot. Because this morning when I left home it was bloody cold. Um, but yeah, I came out to get a haircut. I was getting sick of my long hair. Cut it short again. Uh, don't know if anyone uh, knows WA or Perth, but I go uh, to a hairdresser's called uh, Tau, Tau of Hair. But yeah, I go see a guy called Paddy, and uh, he's been cutting my hair for uh, almost two years now. And um, yeah, uh, I told him what I wanted. Uh, because I came in a bit earlier because uh, I'm going over to Melbourne for a snowboarding trip in uh, July and um, I get my hair uh, chemically straightened because it's naturally curly and I hate it and I can't do anything with it so I get it straightened but uh, if I got it done now because uh, my hair is getting pretty curly again um, by the time I go to uh, Melbourne it'll be uh, somewhat curly again and if I get it done now and then then um, my hair will, get, will not get ruined but it gets like really uh, like horse hair like really uh, I don't know what the word is but yeah like like hell straw so um, I decided not to get it chemically strained I just got it cut I've been trying to do a lot of videos lately uh, it's just really hard because um, I was originally recording on my uh, iPhone and the problem I had was I bought these really expensive um, microphones and they weren't working, like they weren't registering on the GoPro. So I had these really expensive microphones that I couldn't use. So I went out and bought an actual voice recorder and the funny thing is, I, when I was doing my test runs, the most expensive one, which I think was like 30 something dollars, or 30, 40 dollars, was the worst of them, and the, the most cheapest one, which was like three dollars of eBay, um, with a bit of, uh, uh, what do you call it, uh, like sound buffering, just for the wind noise, it sounds the best, and that's the one I'm using right now, so I don't understand how that works, how a cheap one can work better than the most expensive, well not most expensive, but like a top end one. Um, I don't know if anyone else out there has the same like same problem, not problem, but same issue. It's I just find it funny that like a three dollar um, microphone works better than like a thirty dollar one. The only annoying thing with this one though is the uh, cord isn't very long. So unless I'm wearing like a jacket or like a jumper where I can put it into a pocket, um, I can't exactly use it. So I have to get some sort of like adapter to make it longer because uh, it's fucking annoying. <laughs> like it's all right now because they're coming into winter so I wear my jacket more, but yeah, it's just annoying. It's, it's, you know, like probably like half, not even half a meter long. But yeah, I can't exactly show you the city since I didn't, um, you know, get to come like record on the way up. But I don't know if you can kind of see with my weird angle. Um, but yeah, I live in Perth, um, WA. I've pretty much lived in WA my whole life. And, um, but I've never lived in the Perth CBD itself. I've always lived um, uh, south of it. Uh, nothing feels better than like, for some uh, whatever reason that you can't ride for so long. And then like a good day like today, like where it's not hot and it's not cold, it's just perfect. Tiny bit of breeze just to keep you, you know, you know nice and cool. But like, you know, you go like, say like two weeks or more, and then you get back on that bike, man, and like you have the biggest grin on your face because you're just so happy to be on it. Like even if it's just down the road, you know, like just to get like something to eat or, you know, just go meet up with a mate. Like just even those five minutes, man, like makes you feel so happy. Like the one thing I do regret, like I, th I thought I'd never say this, but like when I had my 300, uh, even though it was a slower bike and like I, I, I didn't really learn to ride on it because I already knew how to ride a dirt bike but like you know I learned how to ride the, the bike on the road legally um, 
and you can do more fun stuff like uh, I wish we had recorded this back then but like it was just spur of the moment like go out and ride kind of thing like me and my mate would go down like side alleys and shit and like go under this uh, bridge that uh, we lived near and like um, you know just just stupid shit but like obviously doing it safe when there's like no one around but you know you can just you have more fun on the 300 because it's light and nimble and you know you can get in and out of places a lot easier where this is a lot heavier and I can't you know um, maneuver it um, as easy as the 300 would but in saying that like as much as I miss the 300 with the ZX6R I love the speed like I've always been a speed freak ever since I was little like I let like in saying that, I, I don't like getting in a car with someone I don't know, or getting on the back of a bike in general, um, uh, with someone I don't know, but like, if someone else is controlling it, going at high speeds that I don't know or trust, I freak the fuck out because I'm not the one controlling it. So if anything goes wrong, you know, I, I can't control it to what I can do. But for me, like, being in something fast and like, you know, just to making sure there's no cops, like, doing shit like this. Oh my god! <laughs> you know, it's just nice that I can, like, push the throttle down and it go. And, like, oh my god. <laughs> oh, this never gets old, eh? Holy shit. When I first started this channel all those years ago, like, I tried to, uh... Uh, what do you call it, like, uh, keep it consistent, like, of uploading, but back then, man, like, I don't know why, I think it was just because I was just a bit lazy and couldn't be fast. I don't know, I just didn't vlog, like, I would go out riding, like, almost every day, but I just, I don't know, I just didn't, I don't, I don't know if it was just because I was nervous, I didn't know what to talk about, which I still don't know what the fuck I'm doing, but, I don't know, it's just, back then, like, I, I, I was just so focused on just being a moto vlogger that like I didn't realize the potentials of like uh, with the YouTube channel that I don't have to do just one thing like I know some people just have one channel and say like they're a moto vlogger but then they make a second channel and then that's just like them vlogging about their life or uh, online game reviews and shit uh, but I don't know I just don't feel like doing like multiple channels um, for different reasons, I don't know, I'm just going to make this, just, just the one channel, but yeah, I'm not going to just do motor vlogging, I'm going to have it as like a multiple um, channel of all the shit I do, just, just so it's easy for you guys in general, because like, some people might like the motor vlogging and like, uh, the, uh, like, motor, uh, the, the motorcycle side, but other people might like you know, my what the wakeboarding videos and uh, like my travel trips and shit like that, or just random, random uh, shit I'm gonna talk about. I don't know, but I thought if I just keep it in the one channel, keep it simple, uh, but like put it in different playlists. I, I just thought, I don't know. I just thought it would be easy for you guys to search through, uh, pick what you want to watch, instead of like subscribing to all these fucking different channels that. Uh, I, I don't really need to do. Uh, but yeah, like, I, I, might, I might just keep it simple, but yeah, you guys let me know, like, um, would you prefer to have one channel and have multiple, like, playlists and, like, categories or subscribe to more, like, uh, channels? Like, say, if I had one for motor vlogging, one for vlogging, uh, one for wakeboarding. Um, yeah, just let, let me know in the comments, eh? Hey, because I'm actually curious, because... I've seen so many like big YouTubers, um, like they have some. Some have like four or five accounts, and I'm just like, how the fuck can you manage to like manage all those channels? Like, holy shit! Like, I know I've I've had my channel for like three years or whatever the hell I've had it for now. I think it's been longer than that actually. But um, I'm still learning how, like how to use it properly and all that. Like, you know, my channel's not fancy. But, like, I, I can't be good, like, straight up. Like, I have to start from somewhere. But, like, 
I just don't understand like how they can manage to manage like five different channels. I don't know, but you, you guys let me know like what would you rather? Just one channel with heaps of different categories to choose from or or like separate channels. So you just can just go straight to that channel, subscribe and watch those videos. So yeah, you guys let me know what you guys want and what's easy for you guys because I'll just do whatever. If I get more likes for uh, doing separate channels then I'll do that. If not then um, yeah, I'll just stick to the one and uh, have more playlists. I don't care either way, but I just want it to be simple for you guys, so that way you're not subscribing to different channels and getting confused which one's my main channel, or whatever. But yeah, please guys, uh, uh, hit, hit the like button if you liked it, leave a comment. Um, also, uh, let me know in the comments below whether you want uh, one single channel with um, uh, different playlists of what I'm going to do or different channels for, you know, different vlogs and shit. And also subscribe, guys, because um, there's going to be some good footage uh, coming up pretty soon. Um, and, you, and I'm pretty sure you guys will enjoy. So uh, I'm going to leave it at that. And uh, hope you guys enjoy. See you.